So first I'm starting out with moisturizing my face. I'm using the Vine Vera moisturizer for a dry skin. And as you can see here, I am priming my eyes with my all famous MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And anytime you prime your eyes, you always want to set it with a white powder or a skin tone powder to help your eyeshadows blend easier. Next, I'm taking Red Orchard, the burnt orange looking color from the Modern Renaissance palette. And that's going to be my transition color along with the one that's right below it. Um, all of the products will be listed in the description bar below. I'm going to be carving out my crease with my black L'Oreal 16 eyeliner. I'm not very good at carving out these creases, but every time I've ever tried to do it without carving, I screwed up the cut crease. So I'm going to try it again this way and see how it turns out. Then I'm going to take a pencil brush in a black shadow and blend over that liner. And I'm going to also add some more of that red orchid to help blend out the black to build up the color. Next, I'm taking more of that MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I'm going to try to clean up my crease so it would be very sharp for when the glitter goes on. So I'm just cleaning it up. And you also want to set that portion as well so that when you get ready to apply the glitter glue or the adhesive, the glitter will go on seamlessly as well and it won't look all patchy. Next, I'm going to be using foundation. I'm going to use two foundations. The first one is the Lancome Tote Doll Ultra 24 Hour, and I'm in the color 500 Suede Form. And I will be using my favorite tool to apply foundation with, and that is my Beauty Blender, and specifically the black one because it just doesn't stain as bad and it cleans a whole lot better than the pink and the white one. So I'm just going to blend that all over my face to help give me an airbrush feel. And I'm sorry my lighting was acting up. But I'm just going to blend that all over my face. Blend your neck, honey. Please do not leave your neck out. Blend that foundation down. You do not want that harsh line that separates your face and your neck. Blend it all the way down. Then I'm going to be going back in 
with the Clinique Foundation Plus Concealer. I can't remember. I'm just foolish today. I can't remember the color that I'm in, but I'm going to also apply that all over my face. I started to apply it just under my under eye, but I decided to just add another layer, so I applied it all over the face, as you see me doing here. Now to highlight, I'm going to be using NARS Creative excuse me to highlight I'm going to be using NARS creamy radiant concealer in the color dark three Armand I had three of these concealers and this is my last one and as I stated in my current favorites video I did get to Sephora to get me another one because I don't know what I'll do without this concealer it's just it's just wonderful Now usually to set my concealer, I used to use the Sasha Buttercup setting powder, but it just was too yellow. So now I'm on to the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. And most of the time I don't bake. I usually will just try to push a good bit into the skin and then I'll contour around my face. <clears throat> like you see here using Max um, contour powder in Blunt. I just go in the hollows of my cheeks and my forehead and then after I do that I'll take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark and just put that all over my face to try to kind of blend out everything and make it all even as you see me doing here I blend it even over the La Mercier powder just so the powder will, will not give me a white cast and it won't give me a flashback in pictures. I'm taking a light brown eyeshadow from my palette and contouring my nose with. The blunt powder is a little too harsh to contour with, so I use the powder. Then I'm going to be using that lightest color in the Modern Renaissance palette to apply my tear duct. And I'll be lining my eyes with my L'Oreal Silk Seam Eyeliner. For blush, I'm going to use my MAC Pro Blush in the color Fever. I absolutely love that blush. I just can't get enough of that blush. I need to find something different, but like I said before, I get stuck on one thing and I continue to use it. And I just love it. Absolutely love it. So I'm using it here. And my camera went dead, so all I did next was apply my Lime Crime Lipstick in the color Poison Berry, and then I ombre it using Anastasia Beverly Hills Pure Hollywood. I just placed that in the middle, and I use Bobbi Brown Afternoon Lighting as my highlight. And that is the finished look. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.